I'm just cleaning up after my 50-ish birthday party. Maybe you saw I vanished a bottle. Well, I'm gonna do it again. Check it out. Okay, maybe not this one. This one's maybe just a wee bit too big. Instead, I'm gonna use one of these ones. And I'm not gonna do it right here. I'm actually gonna go back just a little bit. Right to about here. The reason I'm going back so far is I want you to be able to see at all times the bottom, the ground. Uh, because a lot of people say, Sean, I think you dropped the bottle out of frame. And now back here, there's no way it's possible. Oh, a lot of people said, you're using trick bottles. They're not glass. These are glass bottles found right here at the party. A lot of people said, Sean, you're using a trick cloth. This is one of my wife's dishcloths. I'm going to make this as obvious as humanly possible for you all to see. I'm going to do this very slowly because when it's done slowly, it'll be impossible. You should see the bottle up close. One second. You can still see the bottle. Good. I'm going to go back again. I just want to make sure you can see it. I'll do this very slowly. I'll wrap around the neck of the bottle, trap the bottle, and do this very slowly. Watch. And the bottle vanishes. It's completely gone. Both sides, all the way through, no bottle to be found. It's the vanishing bottle trick. Why do I do it? I vanish bottles not to uh, challenge you, not to fool you, but to give you a sense of wonder, just a few seconds of, of magic. If, uh, if for just a second uh, you felt that sense of wonder, well, I did my job. It's my job. You know, the impossible is only impossible until somebody does it, and then it's possible. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, subscribe. See you later. Keep well, keep uh, busy, and most of all, be happy. Bye-bye.